Hi there, it's Olive and Oriental. Thank you for joining me back on my channel. Today I'm doing a mini Zara haul. Yeah! The reason why I do these mini hauls is because I tend to buy clothes from different high street stores. Um, so I, it's hard for me to get all the clothes from the same store to show you. Let me show you what I've got in my recent mini Zara haul. And um, if you like any of these pieces, let me know. First, we're kicking off with this t-shirt I've got from Zara. Um, this was only £5.99 or 95 I think. I'll put all the details in the description box below. I saw this um, while I was going to the changing room and I just immediately thought, oh my goodness, this slogan is perfect. It says here, I don't need a cool message, I need a coffee. And um, like I find slogan tees difficult. I mean, yes, it's easy to pick up just any slogan, but I, I want my slogans to reflect who I am. What I love about this t-shirt, actually, I'll stand up and show you. So I couldn't decide between two sizes and I found that uh, my normal top size would have been a bit too loose and doesn't have this gorgeous masculine sort of, I don't know what we call it, boxy shape. It reminds me really much of James Dean. The sort of shape just gives it such a nice masculine touch. I just totally love this slogan. Here I'm wearing it with my Topshop vinyl skirt, which you might have from last season too. So the next piece is truly an autumnal fall transitional piece. It's this burnt orange, um, what looks like a cardi. It's listed as crop jacket on their website. I don't know why. It's not a cardi or a jumper because basically these buttons are fused. You have to actually put this over your head. So it's like a crop top really, uh, but low V neck. Um, and it's got these gorgeous buttons look quite cheap really. I think it's $17.99. I'll put the details in the description box below. The best part of this is that it's 100% cotton. So it's, I know it's just going to be so comfy. Here's the burnt orange crop jacket. What do you think? I paired it with my Topshop um, snake print skirt. So a uh, reason why I'm wearing it with my black lace bra showing is to show you how low it goes. So it is a cropped uh, top because as you can see, it only goes up to here, so if you have a low slum skirt or jeans, you, you know, you show your midriff. So yeah, it goes quite well with high-waisted stuff like the skirt. And if you don't really want it so low, you could, I guess, pull it up a bit more, but it will show off your midriff. I love the fact that it's a V-shaped neckline, you know? And it's really true to size, it sits so well on me. What do you think? Let me know in your comments. This next piece I think you've seen already all over Instagram and people's blogs. It's this pleated blouse, um, or to me it's more like a pleated dress. I know the wine coloured option is more autumnal, but for me, um, deep colours sometimes don't really go with me um, unless they're really strong deep colours. Yeah, I went for the white, I really love it. Yeah, I think that this with uh, over the knee boots would be perfect. So I bought this in a size M, I'm a size UK 12. Let's see what it looks like. And this is that gorgeous pleated blouse, or oh, slash dress in my case. I'm five foot three, um, between petite and regular. So it works as a dress, I love how it shows off the legs. I think it hits the right length. Um, I know YouTubers have said that it's sheer at the bottom. It's mainly that it's all sheer. So when you have two layers like this, this uh, over this, it's sheer. And then the bottom, there's nothing else to cover it, so it's more sheer. I'm going to wear my black shorts with it, and I'm going to get some uh, over-the-knee boots to go with it. You can tell that I'm wearing the wrong bra with it, so you have to wear like a smooth bra, which um, it's in the wash right now, so... Wow! <gasps> oh, oh, it feels so nice! <gasps> Tell you what, this definitely passes the touch test for teddy jackets or coats. It's a, it's a coat. So after going through some budget teddy jackets and coats, I finally decided to spend a little bit more on a better one and hopefully this is it. So this is $49.99. I don't know if you'd call this a teddy coat or a gorilla suit because it really does feel so furry. Oh my goodness, look at the fur. Um, I bought this in a size L. Um, so what happened was I went to the store and I tried the M and the L and I couldn't tell which one was better. I found that the M... Um, Somehow the collars were sitting up and it just felt like I couldn't breathe. So I think when you feel like that, probably go for the size up. So what I would have done. And I thought I'd try the um, teddy coat with it. It's called Soft Faux Fur Coat on the Zara website. And it looks really grey on the website, but I just don't think it looks that grey. They just happen to have it on a model wearing this sort of retro green. It's a bit strange. So yeah, I actually find it a bit more beige but it could be because i can wear cool colors i'm not sure if i'm cool tone or warm tone but you decide what do you think do, does this look great to you it looks very beigey to me very neutral oh so soft 
<laughs> and look how the collar sits nicely on the L for me. I thought it might be too short for this sort of dress, but actually I think it's perfect. Oh, I'm going to be able to wear this with everything, with my joggers, with my trousers, with my skirts. Yay! And how it buttons up is there is this one button here. So it's a stud button. I think that's what we call it. Oh yes, and it's got pockets, of course. Me love pockets. Me can't do without pockets. What do you think, guys? Is it worth the 50 quid? I personally love it. So I hope you enjoyed this mini haul. Which pieces did you like and do you have any? And let me know what you think in your comments. If you like my video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And let me know if you like these mini hauls. Do you also like to shop from different high street stores? Let me know your thoughts. We'll see you next time. Bye!